who couldn't be enticed to join when they see pets dogs too you know what i mean not enough free space on the memory card uh yeah we'll continue anyways that's fine i need to clean out my memory card these games were made by U ubisoft i actually didn't know that that's interesting i uh don't think I've ever actually played like I I I think I've messed around with one of them on the you know on the DS or 3DS or something before, but I don't think I ever actually like well I definitely never actually like sat down and just played one. Um, but you know I know they were a fairly popular series on like the DS and whatnot, especially with uh, younger kids. The idea of being able to raise a virtual pet has always been a a popular prospect. Um, never one I cared for much outside of the little Pokemon Tamagotchi knockoff. <laughs> and then I did like Tamagotchi growing up too. Those were pretty fun. Tamagotchis were, I mean, you know, early 90s, mid 90s. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I didn't have a Game Boy or anything. That was the coolest thing I could play with was little Tamagotchi. Wait, there's pigs in my, my dog simulator? Why is this cave looks so ominous was that lava or red water either way doesn't look like somewhere we should be uh, taking our our dog for a walk at man <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't look good my guy you like tamagotchis i know noodle likes tamagotchis noodle still plays with tamagotchi sometimes so wait do the dogs just like interact with all these kiwis and penguins and stuff or like can we raise stuff other than dogs Wait, what are these mysterious stone things? Is this an RPG game? <laughs> are there is this secretly like a Dragon Quest game or something? What is going on here? Why are there shining stones and big open fields and mysterious caves filled with like, well, what looks like lava? Poisonous purple water? Bruh, this is definitely an RPG game. want a Grogu one? They made Grogu Tamagotchis? You might have told me that at some point. I don't remember, though. That's one Tamagotchi I might be tempted to actually play with, you know, as an adult. A Grogu one? Hmm. These dogs are all way too hyper for me right now. Because <laughs> I, I am half asleep. And these dogs are just all over the place, man. Uh, no option screen or anything? Also, oh, I can't. Okay. I was thinking the controller wasn't working. But no, I just couldn't do anything because no memory card. So we got Dush. Do, do, yep. <laughs> Chihuahuas, Poodles, Yorkshire Terrier, Papillon, never heard of it, a Welsh Kil Corgi, oh my lord I can't speak, Pembroke, a Shih Tzu, Labrador Retriever, Miniature Schnauzer, a Shiba, y'all don't want the Shiba, really? Come on dude, Shibas are one of the few dogs I actually think are like, a lot of dogs are cute, don't get me wrong. But, like, for my personal taste, Shiba is where it's at, dude. If no pit bull, we do Shiba. I don't know. We got two votes for weenies, man. <laughs> I think we're going to have to take weenie by, by popular demand. We got Maltese. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Beagle. There you go. <laughs> you got your beagle. Golden Retriever. A pug. I hate pugs. <laughs> we had some pugs growing up. I hate them so much. French Bulldog. A Shetland Sheepdog. Jack Russell Terrier. Border Collie. Boston Terrier. Bulldog. Dalmatian. Twitch is freezing on you? Oh, my bad, dude. Or not my bad, but I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> At least it's not me this time. <laughs> Twitch didn't break on me yet. German Shepherd. A Siberian Husky. <laughs> Change your vote to Boston Terrier for your woo-woo. Boxer. 
Basset Hound, St. Bernard, Bull Terrier, Pomeranian, Cocker Spaniel, West Highland White Terrier, Australian Shepherd, Bernese Mountain Dog, Doberman, English Springer Spaniel, Pekingese, Rottweiler, Weimariner, <laughs> Weimariner, Weimariner. <laughs> I'm just making sounds at this point, dude. Bichon Free, Bichon Free. I have no idea what the hell that is either. And a Scottish Terrier. So there's no pit, but we still got. I don't know. We had two votes for Weenie. The two Weenie votes have changed to Beagle and a Husky. I don't even think we had a Weenie Dog as a uh, option, unless it has like a proper name that I don't know. <laughs> Ruse vote changed to Boston Terrier. Stream of Weenie. Oh, is a Dutch Hound. Is Weenie. Oh, well, see, I don't know. I'm not a dog person, man. I don't know. <laughs> Or I don't really care for like breeds of any animals to be honest like The wormer -er 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 is the type of dogs that were in Sesame Street She died at 17. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that my guy So we got a beagle from chocobo Boston Terrier from Rue Noodle if Nate and silence is around we need something from you guys But if not the noodle it all comes down to you, dude we got Beagle and Terrier. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's two for Beagle. I am sorry about your dog, though, Rue. That sucks, man. It's always rough losing a pet. Noodle, we still need your vote, my guy. It's two to one. What's your final vote? You don't know? <laughs> you gotta pick one. Well, I mean, you can pick any one you want, but there's two votes for Beagle, one for Boston Terrier. We need final votes. Wait, there was a husky? Oh my god. <laughs> was there a husky? I, yes, there is a husky. Siberian husky. That is an option. <laughs> Unpog. <laughs> you got a portrait of her done? You'll send it in Discord. But yeah, she's a family dog for years. Man, I miss her. See, I never got, like, that close to any of our pets that we had uh, when I was younger. But, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I did have a cat that I cared for a lot, and uh, she died pretty much early as a kid, and that that sucked, dude. That was a rough couple of days, but make Google pick. <laughs> All right, then, fine. Husky, uh, are you picking any noodle, any any breed at all? If you don't want to be a tiebreaker, because we got Beagle, Husky, Terrier. Do you want to throw another one into the mix? You're not good with decisions? Oh my god. I love this woman so much, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to roll a random number. Uh, somebody, first person to list all three of those breeds uh, in one order. Okay, four breeds in an order. I don't care what order they are. That's what Rugrat was? Aw. That's the order we're going to go with. I need a random number from you. Lower limit one, upper limit four. Just make sure this is inclusive. There's a one, there's a four. Okay, so it works. All right, I'm going to put it in here then. We got Beagle set to number one. We got uh, Terrier, set as number two. Husky, set as number three. And uh, Shih Tzu. 
as number four. It's the last pick you took? Okay, hold on. I gotta look. I gotta look before we roll. Uh, not only subs, general. Aww. That's a really cute picture, dude. That's really cool. I've never thought of even, like, having that done before. You know, like a, uh, a portrait done of a pet? That's cute, though. I'm surprised Noodle didn't do something like that whenever her baby passed uh, a year or two ago. Anyway, okay, 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 okay. So... Just so everyone knows we're legit here. I need to change the window to random number generator. That's not supposed to... Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, we're going to click the button one time. Whichever one it pops in, we're doing Beak was first, Terrier second, and then Husky, and then Shih Tzu. Generate. Number one, Beagle it is. Oh, wait. That wasn't showing up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it was Beagle, though. Sorry. So I meant to have it shown so everyone could see it. I, <laughs> I apologize. I forgot to hit the transition button. I'm a professional. <laughs> but it was number one, and I'm not taking it back just because I'm a dumbass. So <laughs> it's going to be a Beagle. Uh... There's always a chance that, uh, I don't know if there's an outcry, we can play this game again, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know why we would do that, but we could do it. I shouldn't say that. I really don't want to. All right, Beagle. We need names, though. Uh, I like the first one more. One or two, chat. Personally, I'm leaning one, but there's no wrong answer here. You would turn her into a queen? You still could? Oh, you mean like uh, get a, a portrait done of her like with a crown and stuff on? Is that what you meant by you would turn her into a queen? Tell she got cataracts so as she got older and she had some gunk in her eyes that we never could clean out. But she was a happy dog till the end. That's so cute, dude. What color do we prefer? Your preference? That's a vote for one, then. <laughs> like a Victorian queen? Yeah. That's what I thought you meant, but like, one, one, okay. I got two ones, that's enough for me. <laughs> Male or female? Can we just like, randomize it? Rue votes male? I'm fine with male. And that's enough time for me. Okay, male. A name, though. This will actually wait for. What's a cute name for a beagle? I like alliteration. So what's a name that starts with B? Sounds kind of like beagle. Beagle. <laughs> beagle the beagle. Sir Beagle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was already thinking beagle. So that's just, that's perfect. Sir Bagel. <laughs> uh, space, same wavelength? Hell yeah. A G, yeah, that's not how you spell. I mean, we could have it be Bagel. Sir Bagel. E, Sir Bagel. Except. I know. Uh, yes, I wish to proceed. Oh, okay, now we have settings. Can I move the screen up a little bit? That's the one thing I actually do want to do. Do. Uh, I'll change this to inverted controls too. Wait. Oh no! No no no! Pushing up. Yeah no. Okay. So this has inverted controls by default. Okay. Confusing, but whatever. It's just annoying me. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's a... You should be able to see it, okay? There's a black line at the top of the screen, and it's bugging the hell on me. Trade accessories with a friend? I don't think we can do that. 
I'm assuming you need internet or something, or maybe another save game on it. I guess just start adventure, right? See what the hell we do. Oh, guys, guess what, by the way? What, my guy? Hopefully good news of some sort. You're an old fart. You have officially gone over a quarter of your... Wait a second. Was it your birthday? Did we miss your birthday? Either way, happy birthday, my guy. Congrats on being old. <laughs> Arvin, good morning. You still could have said something, dude. Happy birthday, man. It's a neat hat. Oh, this? This is the magic hat. I've told you about it before, right? This magic hat has been passed down through many generations. It has truly amazing power. Needless to say, terrible things could happen if that power was used by the wrong animal. It has never happened before, but it's possible. Bro, this is totally an RPG game. <laughs> this is 100% an RPG. When I received this magic hat from your grandfather, I made a vow to use it only for good. I've kept that vow to the best of my ability, but now there are rumors of wrongdoers who want to get their paws on this magic hat. I'll have to be even more careful from now on. Oh, looks like we have a visitor. Is that the evil one? Does he want to steal the hat? It's already better than a lot of the games you played. True. Too true. Fucking Arvin has a name. <laughs> Wait, there's a Jurassic Park theme for the portrait? Where? I completely missed it, man. Hey, Sir Beggle, let's go and play. All right, Victor. Amazon gift card from Michelle who was able to get Raycon earbuds and a few books from my childhood. Let me know if those are any good, man. I'm curious. Like, you hear about Raycons all the time, but I don't know if I know anyone that's actually tried them before. So, Sir Bagel, have you heard of Ivlet? No. Ivlet is a wolf who does a lot of evil things, but he finally got caught. Now he's in a cage at the police station on this very island. Want to go and take a look? Oh, for cat portraits. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, love. Wait, why are we going? <laughs> hey, there's this evil dude locked up in prison right now. You want to go look at him? <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> you want this game? Uh, I don't think it's all that expensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm pretty sure it was only like $5 or something. Filter, PlayStation 2. Yeah, a complete in-box copy runs about $9, 10 There's also horses and cats for the PS2. In case, you know, one of those is more your jam. What kind of police station lets people just come in and stare at criminals? Looks like he's sleeping. Why are you barking so loudly? You're gonna wake him up, you dick. Wait, his name's Ada. I thought you said it was Ivlet. Oh, Ada's the, the sheriff? <laughs> oh, look at him cowering. Why is every dog in this game a puppy though? Like even his parents look like puppies. Why are all of their growth stunted? This is Ivlet, a very nasty wolf. Stay away from him, you hear? Most of the time, he sleeps during the day, anyway. Now, go on. Go home. <laughs> go on. Get. Get out of here. <laughs> Start waving a broom at him. Did you hear what she said? Why can't we speak? <laughs> it's just our character, dude. Evelette sleeps during the day, so if we go back at night, we might be able to see Evelette awake and moving around. Oh god, Evelette's gonna get out and it's gonna be our fault! <laughs> Let's go back again tonight. 
Let's just play a Dolphin Coast till then. Sure. <laughs> let's let's do that, my guy. Dolphin Coast, here we come. It's gonna be like a mini game or something. So far, it's been all cutscenes. <laughs> this is actually a Metal Gear game. Why aren't we friends with this idiot? It's a good question. <laughs> this is also a long ass loading screen. There we go. I got scared. What shall we play? We got hearts. Bro, this is actually an RPG game, ain't it? Like, straight up. We have hearts up in the corner. <laughs> Let's play cops and robbers. Huh? I'll be the robber. Sir Bagel, you be the cop and try to catch me. Lean out a little or use the D-pad to walk. Push L all the way to run. Wait, you know this game? Oh, you mean like cops and robbers. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you meant like this game specifically, not the mini game here. <laughs> Hold L in any direction to dash. You can swim if you find a place to enter the water. Control the camel with R. Press R1 to reset. Okay. I'm the master robber, Wolfenstein von Barkley. All of the treasures in this world shall be mine. Ha 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 ha. Catch me if you can. Oh, so we have to, like, find him, too? Oh... It's this kind of camera. Okay. Uh, I like the inverted up and down. I don't know why I was thinking it would be like, I don't know, different settings. I need to change horizontal settings to reversed. There we go. I like when I press left on the camera for my character to run left. Oh, we can bark? Oh, are we sniffing? We're sniffing, okay. Can I do anything with it? We can dig. We're definitely sniffing this rock, but I don't know why. I'm assuming we should probably stay away from the, the snakes. Aw, oh, you caught me. Damn straight, dude. Oh, I can't beat you at this game. Huh? What should we play next? Okay, let's play robbers next. Wait, what? I'll be the richest in the land, like Godfrey. You get to be the robber this time, Sir Bagel. I'll go and hide my treasure, then you try to find it. Okay. All right. I don't know about this. What? What? Weren't you the one that picked? But we've already started our game of robbers. I can't believe that Wolfenstein von Barkley is after my treasure. Psst, that's you, Sir Barkley. Or Bagel. God damn it. <laughs> Wolfenstein von Barkley is my own creation. He's strong, brave, and cool. I'm very confused on what's going on. <laughs> I won't let that villain Wolfenstein von Barkley get his paws on my treasure. I must protect my treasures, my bug cage and fishing tackle. I'd better hide them. Okay, Sir Bagel, no peeking. Wolfenstein, holy shit. <laughs> oh, whew, that should do it. There's no way that Wolfenstein Von Barkley will find them now. Well, are you up to the challenge? I'll give you a big hint, the smell of the treasure. Learn the smell, okay. And before one of them's at that rock, The one that highlighted when we were playing Cops and Robbers. Pickup cage will indicate both direction and distance. You can also move by holding to walk and search. Okay. I don't know what that said. It's fine. You can dig with triangle as well. Gotcha. Uh, let's go to the rock. Hold on. No? 
bro it's pointing right here or well a question mark one is is it possible to like can we jump no it doesn't seem like it hmm guess we'll ignore that then how do we deal with the snakes do we bark at them okay <laughs> i guess we just leave them the fuck alone <laughs> oh Oh, shit. My bad. Hold on. Oh, never mind. We were close enough. Cool. We got a bug cage. And an eggplant? Cool. We scared the kiwis? <laughs> Get fucked, kiwis. Oh, oh, is it another eggplant? Because for some reason there's just eggplants all over the beach? No. A hibiscus. Lame. I wanted more eggplants. Be nice to keep, but it's fun to scare them. So do we get to go fishing? Since, you know, we got a fishing rod and a, a bug cage and a pineapple there's some weird stuff buried around this beach dude what was that oh mango noodle likes mangoes did you finish your mangoes love This one really bugs me. I'm assuming we need to move that rock. It must be like underneath it. A warren? Who are you? Naturalist studies all things in nature. Fish, insects, plant life, we research it all. And I am the expert among experts in this field. Sure you are. Uh, where is... There. In the trees. Bark. Bark. <laughs> Can I pick up the mangoes? I think that's a mango, right? Or is that meant to be a coconut? No? Okay. Well. Can dogs eat all this tropical fruit? I don't know why, but I feel like a, eating a bunch of mangoes and pineapple would give a dog the shits. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like a good idea, man. I'm not going to pretend to know, though. I'm probably completely wrong. An Asian pear. Oh, no. You found them? Wolfenstein von Barkley. You'll pay for this. Bruh. Bruh. I guess I can't fool your nose, Sir Bagel. Oh, you can have the bug cage and the fishing tackle. Well, thanks, my guy. I've got new ones, so I don't need them anymore. Here, take my junk that I don't want anymore. No need to be so excited. But you gave me stuff. Thank you. Okay. Cat ears. Some fangs. I mean, at least we're not like... Oh, no. We're still kind of frowning, aren't we? <laughs> still not particularly happy there. No need to be excited. Oh, they are a little dirty. Let me take care of them. Hand it over the bug cage and fishing tackle. And then he just runs away with them. I'll clean them up for you. Talk to me later. I like the the yellow and blue like lines, but yeah, the dark blue. That's the that's what's not doing it for me. If we didn't have like a dark background, it'd probably look better. Look, the bug cage and the fishing tackle are clean now. Here you go. Got fishing tackle, you got bug cage. Thanks, man. Oh, that reminds me, do you know how to catch bugs? I'll tell you all about how to catch insects. You can use a bug net to catch insects that are out on the map. Get close enough and catch them. Use L to chase after an insect. Press X at just the right time to jump and nab. Jump in the orange barn is entirely inside the net and you'll successfully snag the insect. Okay. Recessive traits, yeah. <laughs> you guys didn't know? There's a whole uh, genealogy simulation. Prugged in. Pro oh, ho, ho, ho. Words are not my strong suit. <laughs> Programmed for Bo. Oh, God. 
Now give it a try for real. Try and catch a cabbage white somewhere here on Dolphin Coast. A cabbage white. Okay. Any hint on where like cabbage whites like to live? Are you a bug? Nope, you're just a rock. Cabbage whites hang out in the sand, on the grass. What is a cabbage white? Are they over on the island somewhere? I have no idea. Cabbage is gross, you're gross. Ah, the naturalist. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I thought didn't even cross my mind, but yeah. That, that would make way too much sense. Where? Wait, what's the sleeping thing? Oh, that must be the, uh, one of the snakes. Cabbage is gross. I like cabbage, man. A naturalist studies all things in nature. Fish, insects, plant life, we research it all. I'm the expert among experts in this field. Eh, yeah, well. <laughs> hey, it was a good idea, Chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't put that much thought into the game. Can we fall into the water? No. Okay. But cabbage yum yum, right? I like cabbage. It's like if lettuce was raised on farts. <laughs> oh. I do eat cabbage a fair bit. Uh, I like cooked cabbage. I occasionally eat raw cabbage. Fried cabbage. Yeah, dude. I just like... I like... Ca oh, shit. We failed. Well... <laughs> This game's obviously too hard for me, dude. Oh, it like moves back and forth. Okay. Lettuce is gross too. You're gross too. <laughs> Sorry, Noodle. That was rude. You're not gross. I like vegetables in general. I don't know if there's a vegetable I've had that I just absolutely do not like. As long as it's prepared. Like, and, you know, there's some that. Well, yeah, but that's a preparation, not a vegetable itself. That's what I was saying. Like, there's some vegetables I might not like in a certain way. Like, beets. Uh, I don't care for pickled beets. But, like, a beet on its own or whatever is fine. Actually, red cabbage. I've never tried cooking with red cabbage. But I don't like red cabbage. Like, at least raw in a salad and stuff like that. It's too bitter. Here's your fishing tackle back. How many times are we going to get the you got a fishing tackle thing? <laughs> Do you know about fishing? I'll tell you all about how to fish. Well, thanks, my guy. You can fish from a pier on lakes in the sea. Head to a pier and you'll be able to fish. When a fish takes the bait, the float will sink into the water. Quickly press X to pull the line and hook the fish. Once you've hooked a fish, pull the line some more to reel the fish in. If you can reel it in close enough, you'll land it. Don't pull the line too much or let it get too slack. Keep a good balance with the bar in the middle of the gauge. Wait, you hate red cabbage or sauerkraut? <laughs> I like pickled cabbage, but I don't like sauerkraut. Okay, go catch some fish. Try and catch a sardine from the sea here at Dolphin Coast. Both, says Chocobo. <laughs> sauerkraut? Okay. I, I imagine, like... I bought sauerkraut for a sandwich one time, and I actually liked it, but it tasted much more like pickled cabbage. So I don't know if it's just, but it was also like a really cheap can of sauerkraut. So I'm guessing it was like probably instead of natural fermentation, they probably used like pickling, well, vinegar. <laughs> they probably just pickled it um, and called it sauerkraut, but I don't know. I didn't look that much into it. And then uh, I make my own. I pickle vegetables at home sometimes, and uh, if I have cabbage laying around, I'll sometimes throw cabbage in there, because I do like pickled cabbage. But anyways, it's fine. We're fishing. We're trying to catch sardines. Sardines are good. Any sardine lovers out there? <laughs> I like sardines. There's not very many foods in general I don't like. Wait, are we supposed to... Was it whenever it bobs or whenever the it goes under? There we go, okay. And then we just mash X to keep it in the middle? Okay. You don't like fish? I don't think I ever realized how picky of an eater you were, my guy. 18 centimeter sardine. 18 centimeters, that's what, like... 7, 8 inches? 9? Almost 9 inches, isn't it? 
he loves oatmeal. It depends on preparation, right? Like normal oatmeal, don't really care for it. It makes me gag. But that uh, that one type of of oatmeal, the the like protein oatmeal, whatever the hell it's called, that you uh, cook in the microwave, that's pretty good. And like oatmeal cookies and stuff, I like. But not a fish fan either. You don't don't get me wrong. You love sushi, but that's really it. I love all kinds of fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm -mm -mm. fish is good amazing i know actually the best look like you want to keep on playing i'm gonna take a break but you go for it sir bagel just let me know when you're finished do you want to save i mean i kind of would like to in case the game crashes or something but <sighs> is there anything else we can catch at this pier or is it just sardines <laughs> he once returned a rodeo burger because there was something green on it. You couldn't identify it. It was a pickle. Nice. <laughs> do you do you not like pickles either? Or, I mean, I'm assuming you just returned it because there was something green you couldn't identify. But do you also hate pickles? Okay. I love pickles. A blowfish. Cool, I guess. I love pickles, dude. They're one of my favorite things in the world. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I like, uh, I like sour things in general. Sour, salty stuff is, like, right up there on my list. Salt and vinegar chips, pickles. My pickled vegetables that I make at home um, are literally just salt, vinegar, and spices. Like, no water, no sugar, none of that BS. Just... <laughs> You just take some vinegar, whatever vegetable you want, you throw it together with some seasoning, some salt, and throw that bitch in the fridge for a day or two for it to soak up. Like, unless, like, with onions, I'll blanch them, but for pretty much any other vegetable, that's all you gotta do, dude. Throw it in there. It's amazing. Cucumbers are probably my favorite one to have, but all kinds of stuff is good. Uh, okay, so we have items, right? No, wait, we have fruits and vegetables, though. We definitely have that. Uh, so can we do anything with it? Like, can I eat a mango? No. I see we have money, so maybe we sell this stuff? Do you buy stuff, Mr. Warren, sir? No, you're useless. Okay, you just <laughs> keep telling me the same thing over again. over again. I like it. Like vegetables that are tasteless or spicy? What do you consider tasteless vegetable? Like, I know, like, celery, for instance, doesn't have much of a taste. Lettuce doesn't have much of a taste, etc. What do you consider a tasteless vegetable? Lettuce, celery, okay, yeah. Shall we head home? Okay, I'll come and get you once it's dark. Potatoes, maybe? I mean, <laughs> I guess. I never think of potatoes when people talk about vegetables because uh, I was raised, like, had it beat into my head that potatoes are a starch, not a vegetable. They are technically vegetables, but they're, like, you know, they're 99% carbs, out excluding the water. So it's, like, <laughs> it's more of a carb. Don't tell me you've forgotten. We're going to see Ivlet, right? You might like that sushi Layton and I had in Myrtle Beach. It's called Kanesu. What, what was it? What was in it? Like, what was it made of? And they helped Ireland survive. I love potatoes. But again, I like pretty much any food, man. As long as you cook it right. Although it's pretty hard to fuck up potatoes. Unless you literally just, like, hand someone a raw potato... Don't get me wrong. I've eaten raw potatoes. They don't taste half bad. Although doing too much of that can make you sick. That's besides the point. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, if you just bake a potato with no seasoning, no salt, no butter, no sour cream or anything and hand it to someone, it's pretty lame. I would still eat it in a pinch, but it's pretty lame. But, you know, you throw some butter on that bitch, some salt, some bacon, some sour cream, a little bit of cheese and pepper. And suddenly, man, that's bruh. <laughs> Ah, uh, I kind of want a baked potato. Hold it right there. Come over here. Wait, do you want me to stop or come over, man? You gotta make up your mind, my guy. 
Why are you so angry, bro? Just what terrible trickery are you two planning now, eh? No lies. I heard you mention the name Ivlet, did I not? Oh my god. Yes, you were talking about him. Don't underestimate the power of these ears of mine. Now listen carefully. Ivlet is evil. Bad, bad, bad to the tips of his paws. If Ivlet were to get his claws into you two young things like you... Whatever. That's a sentence. Why, he'd just gobble you right up. So promise me you'll never, ever, ever go near him. If it may seem interesting to you, but he's far too dangerous to mess around with. The things I could tell you about Ivlet. I mean, what things could you tell us about Ivlet? <laughs> now I'm just curious, dude. That was close. She found out that we were going to see Ivlet. Well, we'd get chewed out for sure. Didn't you already get chewed out, my guy? Managed to get away without having to give too many details. We're on, f we're on for our visit tonight, just as planned. Or we could just not. See you later. It's crab, cream cheese, and avocado and like a cucumber ring sitting in rice vinegar? Wait, is there any rice? <laughs> Did they just, is it just riceless? I mean, I probably would like it. I just need to get fucking allergy tested, man. Cause I miss crab and shrimp and shit. It comes up all the time. Y'all know this by now, but yeah. What that magic hat had to do with anything? I'm sure we'll find out eventually if we get that far. <laughs> Welcome home, Sir Bagel. Great timing, actually. I've just finished baking some cookies. Can you take them out to everyone? Give me cookies. I like cookies. You can have a snack later. First, please take the cookies around the village. Bruh, you're going to make me take the cookies to everyone and not even let me eat one first? It's just rude, dude. You need to take them to Gertrude in the drugstore and Tom at the pawn shop. Then Sheila at the fashion house. Charles at the aquarium and Kenneth at the zoo. Ah! <laughs> Gertrude and the, the drugstore are neighbors. Okay, head down the slope in front of Gertrude's place to get to Tom's pawn shop. So, neighbors down the slope, northeast. Uh, the zoo and aquarium are next to the falls. I'm gonna, nope. I, did you get all that? Yep. Sure do, Ma. <laughs> I've already given them to everyone else. Off you go, then. Can I just eat the cookies? Be a bad dog? Not gonna lie, I thought this game was, in, uh, was going to include a lot more, like, petting of the dog and stuff. And a lot less, you know exploration and talking to people and shit but now i kind of want <laughs> to just make a full-on like rpg game but where you just play as a dog in a world inhabited by dogs or cats or whatever fetch quests <laughs> yes dude <laughs> oh my god maybe i'll do it for one of the game jams one of these days or something that's what it'll be called fetch quests i like it hi kenneth Hey, hey, hello, hello, hello. If it isn't young Sir Bagel, what are you up to today? I got cookies. Hey, hey, th th thank you. There's no need, really. It isn't much, but here's something for your trouble. Oh, dude. I mean, okay, if people are going to pay me for this, then by all means. Hope you'll come by to visit our animals sometime soon. Psycho, what's up, my guy? Clara? Were we supposed to bring you cookies? I don't remember. Flowers are great for cheering everyone up. I guess not. Gertrude, you want cookies. Oh dear, whatever is the matter? Does your tummy hurt? I've got some medicine that will clear that right up. You handed over a cookie. You gonna pay me too? Oh, a cookie? For me? Yeah, my guy. Thank you so much. Lunch treats really do taste the best. Here's a little something for you too. Five gold, let's go. Gonna be rich in no time, man. Can we go in the medicine shop? Maybe later, I guess. Uh, you. Charles? Hey, Sir Bagel. Caught a rare fish, have you? Handed over a cookie. Oh, can we, like, give you stuff for the aquarium? Our fish? Wait a second. Is this, like, Animal Crossing where you catch fish and, and bugs and then you put them in a museum so you can look at them? Oh, boy. This looks good. Straight from the paws alone, I take it. Fantastic. Please, take this. Just a small token of my appreciation. Five more gold. Thank you, thank you. 
you happen to catch a rare fish, please bring it to me. I'll add it to my aquarium. It's just called crossing. Because it's... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, do the fish I have, are they not considered rare? I can't seem to turn them in. Uh, fish. Can I, like, select it? Hydrate? Oh, you got it, my guy. Two hydrates in one night? Man, maybe my headache will go away. <laughs> I'm kind of joking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody else, you too, take a drink. It's good for you. It's going to say you can never have too much water, but technically you can. <laughs> Uh, I mean, okay, I have fish. Dude's not taking it, so... Either it's because we're in the middle of a quest right now, or... I don't know. I'm assuming it's because we're doing... Quests. You're eating a popsicle? I like popsicles. Do we have any popsicles, Noodle? I'm sure we do somewhere in the, the freezer, or deep freezer. Talk to Tom. Was Tom the other one we needed to give one to? I remember there being something about going down a slopes, so probably. Welcome. Got anything you don't need? I'll take it off your paws. Oh, Sir Bagel, what's up? Are you ignoring Psycho? <laughs> Psycho said hello, Noodle. Say hello back, you dick. <laughs> he handed over a cookie. Wow, this looks good. Moon is truly a master baker. I'm quite jealous of you, Sir Bagel. Here's a tip for your trouble. One gold... Oh, you're cheap. Some folk think I'm a little stingy, but that's just not true now, is it? <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Can I sell you stuff now? Please thank your mother for me too, okay? If you ever need to sell anything, you know where to come. Oh, and could you tell everyone about that tip I gave you? We're gonna place like this to give me the reputation of being a bit stingy. I pay when I have to, without thinking twice. I want everyone to see my generous side. I was washing my cup so I can make coffee. Don't be rude. I was joking with you, Noodle. I don't think you're a dick. Please thank your mother for me. Oh, okay. We read all this already. Yes, yes, yes. Lay's Chips Layton just subbed. Or no, Psycho gifted a sub. Thank you so much, my guy. I appreciate that, man. Okay, so I'm assuming we can't use any of the shops because we're in the middle of a quest. Like... You better go to bed. You're so tired of the semester already. How much longer? Like, didn't it basically just start? <laughs> like, I get it, though. I 100% get it. But, bruh. <laughs> Not to, like, bring down your spirits, but I think you got a little while left in this year's semester, man. <laughs> but now, get to bed, dude. Have a good night. Hopefully, uh, you get some good rest before tomorrow's 8.30 classes or whatever it was. <laughs> Now, now, Noodle, what did you just say? Words can hurt, my guy. Like, don't be mean. Chocobo with 100 bits. Thank you so much, dude. You need to bring them to the drugstore, the pawn shop, the fashion house, the aquarium in the zoo. Okay, I think we missed the fashion house. Head down the slope in front of Gertrude's place to get it to Tom's pawn shop. Sheila and the fashion house are northeast. Okay. Northeast. So this way, right? Hold on. Map. Don't actually feel bad. Lane's a night person. It's just Mr. Noodle's sister. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> it's yeah. Rue said so, but in case you missed it, yeah. That's that's just Noodle's sister. That's why she's being mean. <laughs> There's nothing actually wrong with Leighton. We like Leighton around here. <laughs> uh, map. That's what we want. This is a terrible map. This is even worse. This is not helpful at all. Okay. Well, she said on the map it would be bottom right, which you would think would be southwest, not northwest, but... Or northeast, 
s southeast. But I'm assuming this is the fashion house. Yeah. Sheila. Layton is the president of Weenie Hut Jr. Noodle's also obsessed with weenies. <laughs> Sir Bagel, is there a problem? He handed over a cookie. Oh my, is this cookie for me? Thank you. Here's something for your trouble. Three gold. Thank your mom for me, too. I'm about to get a new lot of clothes and accessories in. Come back and check them out. Doesn't that take us to 19 gold? <laughs> it's kind of annoying, dude. Couldn't tip me four so we could be at a uh, even number there. Thank you. You've been a great help. Let's go inside. Are you going to tell me more about this magic hat? Because I'm still very confused what this hat's got to do with anything. Here's your allowance. 10 gold. Let's go. You can go and play now that you've finished helping me. Record what you've done today at the desk by the door. Be careful out there. We can't actually record what we did because uh, my memory card be full, though. Hi, Arvin. Welcome home, Sir Bagel. Oh, thanks, Dad. Can we not interact with anything? Hmm, guess not. Yeah, Noodle got me this really cute gift uh, for my birthday. It's just like uh, some notes and things. Um, like little, little cute notes. Most of them say kind things like, you know, I love you, you make me laugh, uh, uh, you're my soulmate, the cats love you, etc. And then there's just random, you're a giant weenie <laughs> notes in there. Not you have a giant weenie. That would be a compliment. No, 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 no. None of that. Just, <laughs> you are a giant weenie. <laughs> she's just, she's mean sometimes, dude. But I love her anyways. This dude's got some weird eyebrows, man. Just literally hanging off his face. I think you need to get those trimmed, dude. Hey, what are you doing here? You think that's the one I opened on stream? It may have been. I honestly don't remember at this point. Sir Bagel. Well, whatever. I was just starting to feel the old boredom creeping back in. How about chatting with me for a while? Just friendly, like. Take a good look at me. I'm in a cage here. Even if I wanted to do something nasty, I couldn't. Now could I? So tell me, I've heard there's the magic hat somewhere in this village. Is that true? Uh, Victor, you dumb freaking animal. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He's going to steal the magic hat. It's going to be all Victor's fault. Well, looks like you've got some fire in your belly. Not just anyone can pluck up the courage to talk to an evildoer like me. <laughs> ah, well, I'm often told how brave I am. <laughs> I bet you are. But I bet even you don't know where the magic hat is, now do you? Bruh, for real? Seriously, can we just talk for a second? Don't fall for it. He's obviously trying to goad you into telling him where it is. Just think about it for two seconds. Don't just, like, randomly shout out the location or something like... Ah, <laughs> you dumb freaking dog. <laughs> Of course I do. This here is Sir Bagel. And his father, Father Arvin, has the magic hat. Oh, really? Well, ain't that dandy. I'm going to kill Victor, dude. Just so everyone knows. I'm going to murder this dog. Oh, really? Well, ain't that dandy. But still, I can't help but be thinking. All of this talk in the magic hat, it's just a pack of lies, right? Oh my god, we're gonna bring the hat to him. We're that freaking stupid, aren't we? <laughs> no, of course it's real. Arvin uses the magic hat to keep the peace all over this island. Ah, but I heard that the magic hat on this island is actually a fake. Sounds to me like this Arvin fellow is lying. Uh, no, he isn't, right, Sir Bagel? No, I know. I've just remembered how to tell a fake from the real thing. I'll show you two, too, if you like. Just bring the magic hat here to me, okay? How about no? <laughs> what do you think, Sir Bagel? 
Do you think you could borrow the magic hat just for a little while? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I think we should leave the damn hat. No, Bagel, why are you dumb? <laughs> Let me make choices. <laughs> don't make me do something this stupid. Oh, uh, I hate everything. <laughs> We're literally taking the hat to him. Good. Good. That's nice. So this is the magic hat. Okay, so you've seen it. That's enough, isn't it? Hey, oh no, look at that. Look, it's ripped right there. There, look, right there. <laughs> It, it is? I don't see where. If you don't fix this right away, who knows how bad it might get. What should we do? If it really is damaged, it might be our fault. We'll get chewed out for sure. Don't tell me you still can't see it. If you still don't believe me, I'll show you. Just bring it a little closer. <laughs> oh, you dumb dogs. I, I just, I don't even know. Oh, well, look at that. Thought you were going to get chewed out before, man. <laughs> just wait. I've been waiting for this. I'm literally shaking my head. Of course this was gonna happen. We're idiots. Both of us. <laughs> Myself and Victor. Once the eyeballs are on, I'll show you your basket of choice, Chocobo. I'm surprised you haven't been working on that. I guess you were making your food and lunch and stuff, but... Get wrecked. I the the basket that you helped uh, Noodle pick out the other day. It's for a uh, a baby shower. She's making little little diaper babies and putting them in a basket. <laughs> That's this fellow seems evil now, man. He's just uh, redecorating the town. He saw it and thought, you know, it could use a little bit of sprucing up. These <laughs> giant orange fireballs should make it uh, look a little more lively around here. Oh, hi, gorilla and a bear. Scratchy butt on the monkey, of course. Are you a warthog? What are you? A lion? A kiwi? I said there was a kiwi. I forgot to call out the kiwi. I like kiwis. They're delicious. <laughs> Is he going to make all of the, the forest animals evil? Caught it. <laughs> Ooh, big scary bear. <laughs> Why is everything chibi? <laughs> oh my god, that kiwi, dude. <laughs> the kiwi. <laughs> the kiwi just fucking <laughs> couldn't even, like, it looked like it was falling over trying to run. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they gonna hail Satan too? Please. <laughs> we just, we just watched, uh, I don't remember which season. But we just watched the South Park episode with all of the uh, the Christmas special with all the woodland creatures. So it's pretty topical, man. Are we getting more evil creatures now? Okay. A uh, Komodo. Was that a Komodo dragon? I don't know. A chibi alligator. That's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. 
What was the first one? Uh, some sort of bull of some some kind. Or not the first one, second one. There he is. That guy. Are these the bosses we're going to have to defeat? Komodo dragon with human teeth? That sounds cursed as hell, man. It's like, have you ever seen pictures of uh, babies with, like, full-grown, normal human teeth? When do they first pop out? It's creepy as shit, dude. <laughs> oh, thank you for bringing my drink up, Noodle. As for why you're making that face, the light was broken, so I had to reset it. So it's very bright in here. But... <laughs> How could you do something so foolish? Giving Ivalet the magic hat? Just look what he's done to the village, all thanks to you. So many animals have been injured or lost their home. That isn't all either. Bridges have been destroyed all across the island. Now lots of places are completely out of reach. Ivalet has also riled up the wild animals, turning them against us. They've started to attack all who try to pass through where they live. Your foolishness is what causes all of these problems. Why aren't I in a cage along with Sir Bagel? I was there too. I should be caged as well. You made a terrible mistake too. That's true. But most of the blame for this mess has to go to Sir Bagley. Bruh. No. It's Victor's fault. I'm just an idiot. I'm the one who said we should take a look at Ivlet. And I'm the one who persuaded Sir Bagel to go and get the magic hat. Put me in the cage instead and let Sir Bagel out, please. I think we should let Sir Bagel out too. Granny to the rescue, let's go. Everyone makes mistakes. I know it's led to some truly terrible things happening this time. But isn't that all of the more reason to have Sir Bagel help repair the damage? Everyone makes mistakes, even you. This is what children do. Cause trouble for grown-ups by doing unexpected things. The wrong things, maybe. But that's how they learn. Please give Sir Bagel another chance, Ada. I say we lock them both up. <laughs> Stupid ass dogs. Bro, he actually looks really sad though. Like, I kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> Very well, I will let you out this time. But you have to help everyone else in the village. Indeed, you must help everyone on the whole island who has been hurt or inconvenienced by your actions. <laughs> Jail zero to two. We'll handle getting the magic hat back from Ivlet. That's definitely not a job for children. Don't go getting an I uh, words. Don't go getting any ideas about getting it back yourself. Gotcha. I'm the one that caused the problem, so I'm the one that needs to fix it. I understand 100%, Ada. Hey, what are you doing now? <laughs> Victor locked himself up. <laughs> Is that jail one to two now? <laughs> Feel so bad about what happened. It's my fault. So I'm going into this cage. Sir Bagel, help everyone in the village. Victor's just trying to get out of work is what he's doing, man. I got to run around, wear myself out, fixing shit. And Victor just gets to lay around all day in a cage? Like, bruh. What the hell are you? No, go. That's a demon. I don't care. <laughs> go back to hell, you hell spawn. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Beat? His name is Beat. Hey, you there. Yeah, you. I'm Beat. I'm the personification of the good half of the magic hat. You don't know what I'm talking about, huh? <laughs> Not many people know this, but the magic hat actually has a mind of its own. Because the magic hat is just so strong, it was magically given a mind of its own to prevent it being used for evil. Well, that's not working out so well now, is it, Mr. Beat, sir? I'm made from the good side of the mind. When Ivlet stole the magic hat, it fought back, trying to stop him from using it. But Ivlet's evil heart was too much for us, and I got booted out completely. When Ivlet put on the magic hat, I had a chance to read his mind. It seems he allowed himself to be caught on purpose in order to get onto this island. It was his plan all along. Because the power of the magic hat was protecting this place, evildoers like him can't normally come here. But Ivlet had a plan. He let himself be captured knowing that he would be brought here. He's practically a genius when it comes to thinking up evil. Who knows what ends such a monster may turn the power 
Who knows to what ends such a monster may turn the power of the magic hat. I tremble just to think of the possibilities. I'm sure he's even more terrible things up his sleeve. That's why I have to get the magic hat back. We're adding this to the completion list, right? I'm enthralled. Pets complete. No. <laughs> Do you... I, I don't think either one of you really want to see that done. Especially Chocobo. Noodle, maybe. You feel the same, right? You want to get the magic hat back from Ivlet, don't you? Me too, but I'm so small. I can't do much without the magic hat. I do know a lot of things, though, so I'm sure I can give you all sorts of useful advice. What do you say? Let's work together to get the magic hat back. I was literally told by, like, three different people not to do this. I think we should not. You fucking hell spawn. This is how we die. I'll make it a uh, a community goal. How about that? <laughs> Just have to pick how many points the entire community has to donate within the next month. They have uh, pets complete added to the list. <laughs> Are you hurt? Just my pride. Do you understand what you've done? Yes, dude. You need to think long and hard about this. I know. I'm going to fix it. Don't go getting any ideas about chasing down Ivlet yourself. Well, you see, this demon from hell appeared out of nowhere and told me that he's actually the good side of the hat and that I have to help get the hat back from Ivlet. So listen to my par parents, listen to some random hell spawn. It's a hard decision, man, but I think I have to go hell spawn. You should help the other villagers get back on their paws. I'll teach you some important things to help with that. If you sleep on your bed at home, you recover all your health, so you get a long rest. Sniff, sniff, sniff. If you're having trouble clearing a quest, make sure to sniff where anything looks suspicious. If you're not sure where to go next, read the diary. It'll help you. Press the start button to get to the menu and select diary. You can check from the menu at any time. For starters, the drugstore has suffered a lot of damage. Shuffered. Go over there and lend a pod to the repairs. Sure thing, Ma. Pa, whoever was talking. I was too busy reading the words to look at who who was who. I do concur that it's not the worst game we've played on PS2, at least. <laughs> he seemed pretty angry. But if we give up now, it won't be just the village that will suffer. All living things on the island, and indeed in the world, will suffer if let's pause. Can't allow that to happen. Can you? Bro, guilt tripping? Really? Don't you think I feel bad enough? So let's work together to get the magic hat back from Ivlet. Oh yeah, you can have this. The magic encyclopedia. It will automatically record items and wildlife that you find, including insects, fish, vegetables, fruits, and flowers. Find enough items to receive a magic award. I'll teach you one more thing that'll be vital to making progress on our adventure. Take a look at the map in the bottom right of the screen. See all those symbols on it? I'll explain about some of the more important symbols now. The yellow triangles mark your current position. The purple symbol marks the location of someone who needs help. If you're ever not sure what to do next, head to one of these locations marked in purple. Okay. Purple is important. The white star marks an animal that has escaped from the zoo. Okay. The white crown marks a save point. Well, we can't save, so <laughs> that's rough. There are other symbols too, but I think that covers the major ones. Knowing what all of these symbols mean will help to help help you help everyone. <laughs> Remember them well. I've got one more important thing to tell you. How many more important things are there? Do you know what this is? No, I do not. Do I need to know? It's a stone. This rock has the mysterious power to record the deeds of anyone who touches it. If you want to save, just touch one of these stones. Okay, it's a save stone. Got it. Useless to me right now. Appear to have other powers for now. Fast travel. I'm thinking it's fast travel. Let's start by going to the drugstore. Drugstore's right next to your house. Okay. They have zoos. They do. They keep slaves, you see. Hi, Gertrude. Your place looks a little fucked up. Do you want the money back that you gave me yesterday? <laughs> Help pay for your repairs? 
It's kind of my fault and all, so, like, seems fair. Sucks to be the pawn shop owner, though. Maybe you should have given me more than one gold, man. Just look what that, that Ivalet did to my shop. I've asked Stanley, the carpenter, to fix the building up. But I still need some cotton cloth to fix the sunshade. Oh, what can I do? What? You'll go and find some cotton cloth for me? Wow, thank you. I need some cotton in order to make cotton cloth. This is what cotton smells like. You should be able to find some cotton out by Lappy Lake. You can get to Lappy Lake from here in the village. Take the further upstream of the two bridges to get there. You know what I just heard? The road between the village and Lappy Lake has been fixed. However, Ivalet's magic has caused another problem. The animals outside the village have become quite violent, it seems. I'd better teach you how to protect yourself. Enemies everywhere. Each map has animals in it that will attack you. If you get too close to an enemy or run up to one, they will spot and attack. Enemy status is displayed as an icon above their head. If they're angry, run away. If you're attacked by an enemy, your health will decrease. If your health runs out, it's game over. Press X to bark before an enemy spots you. And you'll stun them with your sneak attack. Good luck. Okay, so wait, can we kill the other animals? Or, like, can they only kill me? Because you didn't really tell me how to, like, attack them. <laughs> just how to stun them. Just not sure is that useful. Seems like we could just avoid them instead. Okay, so the bridge further upstream. So is that... I guess that's this one, right? That's further upstream. It's also got the yellow arrow pointing to it, so seems like a good guess. Lappy Lake. Okay, that's right. We're smelling for cotton. Ooh, bananas. I like bananas. We got an rare item reward. Fur cap color one was added to the shop. Can we wear it? Accessories? Hat? This accessory okay? Yes. We can wear the fur of our fallen brethren. <laughs> it's kind of morbid when you think about it, dude. Where was that alligator? I know I saw it somewhere. What am I... Okay, so don't dig in the water, dude. Ah! <laughs> I had chickens. Bark. Oh, he's sleeping. We got cotton. Cool. This is the cotton that Gertrude was talking about, isn't it? Let's take it back to Gertrude. I wanted to bark at the thing, though. I wanted to see if I could eat the snake. Lame. Oh, you found some cotton. I did. Could you give that to Loan and get her to make some cotton cloth? I'm confused what our mom's name is, right? Because... That's the first letter of a name, and it looks like an L, so I assume it's an I. So is it Ion? I won? <laughs> Ione? I don't... I guess Ione makes the most sense, but I'm just going to keep calling her alone. That was quite a surprise. You didn't know she can make high-quality cotton cloth? Your mother should be at home. Okay. Hi, Mom. Can you make some cotton cloth for the drugstore next door? Apparently you have this secret ability that I never knew of. Handed over some cotton. Oh yes, Gertrude told me all about this. I need to make some cotton cloth with it, right? Please and thank you. Here you go. Fine work, even if I do say so myself. I mean, you did say so yourself. 
Please take it to Gertrude. Sure thing, Ma. I'll walk the five steps across the road and hand it to Gertrude. Or I'll just be spawned in front of Gertrude. Oh, you got the cotton cloth? Thank you. I'll put it up right away. Oh my god, so many loading screens. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there we go. Good as new, man. Can't even tell that Ivla blew up the entire town. There we go. Plus complete. You received 100 gold? Dude, let's go. Drugstore is back in business. Come by if you ever need anything, Sir Bagel. The drugstore is now open. You can buy healing items and food at the drugstore. When your health is low, you run the risk of a game over. Use healing items whenever needed to keep yourself safe. Looks like Tom over at the pawn shop needs some help too. Tom from the pawn shop is down that slope in front of you along the beach. Why not see if you can lend a paw over there? I'd rather not, dude. <laughs> I, think, I think we get the point. Besides the fact that we still don't know if there's any actual combat, I think we more or less understand what's going on here. Okay, I can't enter. It doesn't seem like I can interact with the actual, like, storefronts. Do we just talk to you? This is the drugstore. We sell medicine. Yes, I know this. That's why I'm talking to you. I want to see what you sell. Okay, I can't sell you anything. I'm assuming that's only the pawn shop. Biscuits. Jerky. Dog food. Super dog food. Top quality canned meat. An antidote. Uh, having a single antidote seems... Wait. How many? All? She only has a limited number of stuff in stock. This is a terrible menu. Yeah. I think, uh, I think we get the point, dude. <laughs> I think that's all for tonight, dude. We, uh, got a nice look at this, uh, messed up dystopian future where the world is run by animals that have slaves of other animals and also murder and wear their own kind it's a it's a nice game for children honestly and uh <laughs> if you're into cute animals and terrible rpgs give it a go i guess i don't really know what else to say about it man it seems to have a real time not real time but like a day night cycle see that mornings breaking uh no shadows or anything so i mean it's a ps2 game cut it some slack i guess but whatever anyways guys it is Sunday, so Monday I'll be off. Tuesday I'll most likely be off. So we'll be back on... Oh shit, Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. We'll be back on Wednesday, hopefully, with some Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Fingers crossed. If it dies again, man, then I swear Twitch just hates that game or OBS or something just hates that freaking game. Hopefully this time, though, it'll actually work and we can make some, act some real progress in uh, Crisis Core because I love the game. But I want to move on to other stuff, specifically games that have been voted on, whatever that ends up being. Until then, though, guys, have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.